Today we're going to be doing a follow-up to the Tough Belt knee pad comparison that we did a couple days ago. If you're interested in that, there's a link above there that will take you right to that comparison. We go through this model and some of the other models that they have and give you kind of a side-by-side -side comparison each. What we want to do here today is kind of go into more depth on the snap shell version of those knee pads that you can get based on different vendors. I briefly talked about it in that video. It appears the snap shell versions are different depending on the vendor. So this set over here is the ones you're going to get from Amazon and this set over here is the one you're going to get from Lowe's. It appears they're different model numbers and they actually do different things uh, for, for this setup here. So I want to kind of walk through the differences uh, to kind of help with some of that confusion that's out there on some of these snap shell versions of the knee pads. So up first, this is the model from Amazon and this is number KPG2036 and this is the Lowe's version and this is KPG203R. Now, the one biggest difference that I've noticed, if you go out there and look at Tough Built's website, they talk about these snap shell gel fit versions being replaceable as far as these clamshells on the outside. However, when you look at the Lowe's one, it still has the older connections that you see on the foam ones that Tough Built has on their website. On their website, it doesn't appear that they claim that the foam ones are replaceable, the clamshell, and they have the same connection. However, they do say on these, they do. So as you can see over here, and I'll give you a close up pictures of the two to show you that these ones, yes, they are replaceable. I don't believe these Lowe's ones are. Now, when you look in the back, they are still the gel fit, so they're not the foam ones. So I'm not sure if these Lowe's ones are just older models that they have, uh, but I wanna make sure you guys understand you know, the difference between the two, because if you're going to try to replace these, if they get damaged, and if you're not familiar with that, uh, I briefly talked about in the other video there, if these get bad as far as the front, you don't have to replace this entire knee pad. You can simply replace these, and these are very cheap. I think they're like seven or eight dollars for a set of the clamshells. So you don't have to replace the entire knee pad. You can just replace the part that's bad. You can easily do that on this version over here. On this Lowe's one, uh, it doesn't appear that you will have that ability as of now, uh, the ones that I see in the stock at, at my local Lowe's. The other big difference you're gonna see between the two is obviously this one over here from Amazon. They advertise it as a six pack. So as you can see, you are getting essentially two knee pads for the price of that one, that one six pack that you're getting. So you have the additional clamshells. These are the non-marring ones. So if you're on a, a fragile floor that you don't wanna get all scraped up, these won't leave any marks. These are more your general construction. Obviously these are gonna be more durable. So if you're outside doing a bunch of stuff, uh, you know, from a construction standpoint, these would probably be the better fit because they'll last longer, but you know, these, these have a time and place as well. To replace these, all you need to do is you can see these little snap shell connections on here. You simply take your snap shell that you want there to put on. Now, these are kind of difficult to get on, you know, initially when you're trying to get used to it. But what I've kind of found is if it doesn't go on as easy as that one did, sometimes they don't. You can simply flip the knee pad over, apply pressure on it like this, and you can see it'll snap in that way. So sometimes they're harder to get on than others, but eventually they do get snapped on there. And as you can see, you know, you can replace them very easily. Then if you want to remove them, all you need to do is just take a screwdriver. If you get under here like this, and you can just simply pop it all out like that. So, you know, you can do the same thing over on the other side and they come out, they come out fairly easy, uh, like so. Now, you know, again, I cannot confirm whether or not these are supposed to be removed or not. When I try to do that same thing over here, they just don't seem like they're gonna pop out of there. All right, so hopefully that was helpful there. If it was, you know, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, you know, please hit that subscribe. Uh, but again, I hope this helped you out today and thanks for watching.